watching our video? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're at Sam's today, you guys, and we're going to do a small haul. And I've got the Rugrats with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had to get a quick video of the gnome for 4th of July, you guys. Um, also, plenty of watermelons out. 4th of July is the theme for today. Um, I do have to get some hot dog buns, so we'll get some buns in a few minutes. So, dun, 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 I'm on the laundry aisle, and I was just comparing some of the prices, like for not only overall prices, but like the price per ounce. Um, so, it's looking like 8.4, 7.5, 8 8.2, 9.7. Oh, goodness, that gain is expensive. Um, for the price of the loads, and also Knowing that we go through a lot of laundry detergent, I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot for the all four in one advance today. Um, I know it's only a penny cheaper, but you guys, every penny counts when you're doing this much laundry. Okay, and the kids are <laughs> being kids. <laughs> hey, check out the new ninja they have, you guys. A new lower price, but I don't know about the uh, I don't know about the capacity, but it looks pretty darn big. That's cool, but I like my Instapot. All these little ninja stuff going on in here. This is really cool, you guys. It's pretty, too. And they have the air fryer, the foodie. You know what I haven't seen is going to be that, that ice cream maker that everybody's talking about. I'd like to see that in person. So if you had an extra 120 bucks and need an extra thing to store... Ninja foodie. Going in for the bananas. Hey, check out the melamine um, dinner or set for 25. It's 12 pieces though. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, you guys, for some cool ones. We've got cucumbers on sale today, folks. Folks. We're grabbing some. Oh, thank you. What? So. My kids are absolutely addicted to these danishes, so I am going to grab them a pack and we'll make a quick snack or breakfast. The uh, Colby Jack and the uh, Cheddar Sticks are the same price, but the kids love these things, so we're going to go in for a pack of Colby Jacks. Moving into the dairy, you guys. Um, I do need to grab... Ooh, it is brisk. <clears throat> I do need to grab some uh, regular vitamin D milk. And then the kids really enjoyed the unsweetened almond, the Sam's brand. Um, it turned out really actually good. So we're gonna grab some of that and some half and half. Sorry, it's kinda loud in here, they're stalking. But uh, you can see all of the eggs and dairy they keep in one section. Okay, so um, the meat lasted a good while from the last haul. So I am just gonna re-up on some of that ham and turkey um the rotisserie chicken is a fan favorite but not really the buffalo style chicken that was the last to be eaten um the seasoned angus roast beef is really one that they love but you can see the price is almost double on the roast beef from the ham and turkey so we're not gonna do that one today also we still have some colby monterey jack but they did go through the pepper jack which is right here, and the provolone with speed. So we're gonna grab that for a sandwich night. Okay, so all Sam's Cups look a little bit different, but most will have the Nathan's and a ballpark brand, um, or also the Members Mark brand. What y'all don't usually see is the Kegel brand, um, but you can see like the price from Kegels over to Classic is like, over double so we're really watching the budget today and we're gonna stay with the classic Franks from ballpark for dinner tonight we're also gonna go for a pack of crinkle fries to go with hot dogs tonight keeping it simple on nights that I go shopping I would prefer the straight cut um, you get 30 pounds for $34 but you guys, I don't have room for a freezer like that. So it's we're just so gonna go ahead and grab the crinkle fries. It's so warm. So I'm having Landon grab a pack of the sweet potato fries. We've never eaten them from oh Sam's before. Landon, let me see that um, bag, what it looks like. So it is 
roots, farm fresh sweet potato fries, no artificial anything, and keep frozen. So we'll also do a batch of those tonight and see how they come out. Of course the kids found the fireworks, you guys. $180, holy moly. You can get that. Literally watching your money go up in smoke, but the kids love July 4th. So let me know if y'all have had the Mexican crema. Um, it's sour cream, it's Mexican style. It's supposed to be really good, and I do have some recipes, plus we're eating burritos this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one, but uh, before I get to try it, let me know in the comments if y'all have had it before. We're kind of over here in the cheese section again. We, we wandered, we, we detoured. So never come here hungry, you guys, because I'm finding so many things. Okay, first of all, let me tell y'all, the Pancho's queso is phenomenal. It's amazing. And I'm gonna grab a canister of it because for the cost of making two pounds of cheese dip, you can't get white American cheese and melt it for that price. So, okay, boom, we're gonna grab that. What I'm looking at is this Mexicali dip, which is jalapenos, tomatoes, bell peppers, spices, with sour cream, Monterey Jack, and Neufchatel cheese. I know I probably butchered that name. Never had that type of cheese. Kind of an interesting dip. Um, again, we are having a Mexican night at least one night this week. So I might just grab that to mix in and see which ones the kids prefer. Last big haul, it did all of my actual tinfoil and saran wrap and plates and everything. So we're good on all of those. See where I'm heading now, over to the coffee, 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 coffee aisle. Okay, it's actually a super quiet Monday here. So what I've discovered, and I'm gonna show y'all a hack, is that the Starbucks French roast, bada bing, bada bam, when it is paired, with half and half it doesn't work with heavy whipping cream for some reason maybe it will i don't know but you have to get the half and half and a splash of french vanilla syrup right there holy moly it tastes like i'm drinking liquid chocolate for some reason so we are being courteous to others you guys i kind of cut the camera off quick when we're around other people and trying to film anyone else in the store without their permission um, although it is a public place. Nope. That's actually coffee, buddy. <laughs> Good one, though. I told him they could pick a treat. So, we're doing good. We're filling up quick, and we're down to the last of our list. So, hey, don't say that. I spied what I actually came here for originally. Really? You want Oreo Cakesters? Yes. So, I can eat one every single day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> this is what I came here for, you guys. You're going to be like, what on earth is she talking about? Literally, my list was coffee, syrup, and these organic coconut crispy rollers. I don't know. It's like the heaven opened up above and shone down. These things, the kids literally ate them all in like a day. Um, so I'm going to get two bags today. They are the most phenomenal amazing delicious thing I've ever had in my life so just putting that out there if you have this at your Sam's get it I changed my mind on these. oh you already changed your mind yeah. as quick as I grabbed the coconut rollers he changed his mind guys so we're down to the wire we've gotten everything that we needed so far that was on my list and so now we're gonna let the kids pick out their one snack per child a lot in before I left did ask for a box of Takis to keep in his room. I don't really like him keeping them in his room, but at the same time, it's like if he doesn't hoard them, then everybody else will eat them. So I saw on another Sam's haul recently that one of my friends from this mama's house, and I'll tag her in this, got you the you need this sea salt tortilla chips. So these are gonna be the chips that I get today, and we are gonna try these and see how they are. I almost forgot that I had promised Mr. AP a treat too. And last time I came, I found these awesome little like tuna fish kits. Yep, here they are. The Bumblebee 9 kits. And the kids really enjoyed them. Even Levi liked it. It's like already made chicken tuna salad. So I'm going to grab a pack of these and then get him some beef jerky to keep him happy on the side. We're going to sweep in for the $15 of the one pound of jerky, guys. And what did you pick? 
Levi wanted talkies. Oh, baby Levi wanted the talkies? Levi, did you want the talkies? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> also, the veggie straws, you guys, are always a hit in my house with the cheddar cheese and ranch kind of blended in. So we're going to grab a box of those. Okay, so these are interesting, guys. Um, I've been looking for little salty snacks to eat in the evening times that aren't super filling. And these seem pretty interesting. So I uh, will try these today and let me know if you've already had them and what you thought of them. Also, it looks like these fruise balls are on clearance, you guys. So I'm going to try a pack. It looks like six five-count bags of plant-powered energy balls. They're basically going to be like a protein-packed, filled peanut butter jelly, caramel chocolate peanut butter cups. So I'm going to try those to keep downstairs as my little stash. So I just came across these Daily Crave Beyond Churros. Um, the kids love churros. In fact, they make them over at the cafe over that way. Um, but what we're going to do is grab a bag. I mean, they're non-GMO. They're baked, not fried. There's only five grams of sugar per churro. So let's see how they are, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab some of the Mott's fruit gummies for baby Levi. He really, really wants gummy bears. And... It says they're made with real fruit and veggie juice, and there's no colors from artificial sources or flavors. So we're going to give this a try. The Mott seems a little bit better off on the nutrition than the other Welch's brand. So let's check these out for Levi. And we're officially done, and we are going to head over to check out. So I actually ended up putting those danishes back and just getting these mixed berry oat bites. Um, these are more shelf stable and they were definitely the same price as the danishes that I got earlier. So we're going to try these out and see how they are. Okay guys, so we are wrapping up. I've got everything scanned in. Pretty big haul for today. And um, I will be back at you with the next video. So thanks for coming along at Sam's Club with me. It's a really, really cool place if y'all have one. <laughs> okay, boys, did you have fun shopping with mom today? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Levi, Levi, you did you have fun? Yeah? <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you on the next haul. I'm going to get all this stuff loaded up and get home to fix dinner. Look what I got. What'd you get? <laughs> the look of cluelessness on that face was precious. Thank you, Lachlan. You made my day. It's a churro.